Okay, so there are two basic ways of classifying pizza, right? You can classify it by the type of crust and by the type of topping. So crust, I mean, you can have thick, thin, uh, stuffed crust, which is amazing. You can get deep dish. There's tons of different crusts. And then if you categorize it by topping, there's even more choices. I mean, you can get pepperoni, cheese, extra cheese. You got, you know, your veggies, your meat lovers. There's tons of ways. But basically, you can name any pizza by its crust or by its topping. So polynomials are the same way. We can name polynomials by the number of terms or by the number of degrees. Um, we're going to start with number of terms. So to do this, we first have to know what a monomial is. Okay, now a monomial is a number or product of numbers and variables with exponents that are whole numbers. So I know it's kind of confusing. It's easier if we just look at some examples. So 4a to the third b squared or 2x or 8, these are all monomials because in each one you've got just a bunch of things multiplied together and all of those exponents are whole numbers. That makes these all monomials. It's also helpful to look at some examples that are not monomials. I think it's helpful anyway. So we have the square root of x and t to the 3.5. These are not monomials because the exponents are not whole numbers. Okay, so like the square root of x is the same thing as x to the 1 half. And 1 half isn't a whole number. That means this is not a monomial. Same thing down here. We've got a 3.5 as an exponent. And obviously 3.5 is not a whole number. That means these are not monomials. So watch out for exponents. Because that if you have exponents that aren't whole numbers, then you do not have monomials. Okay, so a binomial is the sum or difference of two monomials. And I remember this by, you know, means two. It's like bicycle. There's two wheels on a bicycle. So basically we're just adding or subtracting two monomials. So let's look at an example, because I think examples are the best. 42AB minus 6D. So those are two monomials. We're subtracting them. That makes this a binomial. Okay, now we also have trinomials, which, as you might have guessed, is the sum or difference of three monomials. Remember, tri means three, like a triangle has three sides. So you can remember that a trinomial has three monomials in it. So here's a really standard example. You're going to be looking at this one for the rest of your life. It's really common. Here are three monomials. That makes this a trinomial. Okay, so now all of monomials, binomials, and trinomials, they're all polynomials. Polynomial is the sum or difference of any number of monomials. So you could have a million monomials, add them all together, and that's a polynomial. So monomial is a polynomial, a binomial is a polynomial, and a trinomial is a polynomial, and I am getting really sick of saying those words. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to look at some examples, and if you're following along in your guided notes, um, or you just want to try these, you should pause the video now, and then turn it back on once you've done all four of these examples, and see if you got them right. Okay, so let's start with this one. We have two monomials here. All the exponents are whole numbers, which makes this a binomial. Not too bad, right? Let's do this one next. Okay, we just have one big thing of a bunch of things being multiplied together. And all the exponents are whole numbers. That makes this a monomial. Okay, we go down here to this one. Now you see three things immediately, right? So you might want to say that this is a trinomial. Well, that's not quite right. I know it looks like a tri trinomial, but let's take a look at this last term, this 2 over x. Another way to write this as, is as 2x to the negative 1. 
So negative, negative 1 is not a whole number, which means this is um, not a monomial. So the whole thing is not a polynomial. Okay, so if you see an exponent that is not a whole number, it means it is not a polynomial. That was kind of tricky. Now let's check out this one. We've got three things. We can see that all the exponents are whole numbers. That makes this a trinomial. Okay, so we just covered the um, way of classifying by number of terms. Now we're going to talk about classifying by degrees. This is a little bit simpler. So the degree of a polynomial is the same as the degree of the term with the greatest degree. I think that's kind of a dumb definition, so we're going to look at an example. So here's a polynomial. I can see that 5 is the greatest degree. That makes this a fifth degree polynomial. So go through, find the biggest exponent, and that is the degree of the polynomial. It's a lot simpler, right? It's a lot simpler than that big definition. But anyway, those are the two ways of classifying polynomials. Now the cool thing about polynomials is that we can use distribution. So let's look at an example. We can distribute that 2 to both parts of the binomial here. So I'm just going to distribute the 2, like you guys are so good at. So 2 times 3x squared is 6x squared. 2 times x is 2x. And that's our answer. Distribution. Nothing new here. Now let's look at this one. We can distribute the 4, like so. So we get 4x squared plus 8. Okay, that minus 3x, nothing happens to that. And now I can distribute the 2 to that binomial. So plus 2x squared minus 2x. There you go. 